Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and I guess Wonderbot's here. Welcome to Let's Try Shattered Planet. This might be a couple of things, might not be. So, uh, first and foremost, this is a daily challenge. So, daily challenges are, I mean, it's pretty obvious if you've ever played Spelunky or anything like that, where you're given uh, set seeds, same level as everybody else, and in this case, we get a set equipment. So, we get a fairly nasty looking axe, a helmet and a chest, which we'll open up later. First, we're gonna kill this thing. Oh no! Why? Because it would have killed us. Do they do? Yes. Everything here is violent, generally. So you can only categorize or catalog creatures by killing them. No, not always. There's friendly versions of these monsters that you can hatch and feed, but not in this case. So oh. that thing over there looks like a turret. So it's probably gonna start shooting at us. I'm gonna. Get over super quick and clobber it. There's another thing. So every time you discover a new thing, it gives you a short little blurb about it. Shows you the portrait. A snipe seed. That's yeah. that's a cute name. Gives you five crystal, which I'll go over when we die. And uh, you have every time you get one of these, it increments the meter on the bottom. And then when you do, you get a new upgrade for your ship. Kind of like risk, not risk of rain. Uh, Rogue Legacy. There we go. Luckily, we've got a really nice axe, so uh, everything can die. I think it's interesting that when you press on a space, you can actually just stay there and it moves. Yeah. Well, so this is a roguelike. Uh, this is actually closer to most roguelikes than you probably are used to, actually. You've never actually played a roguelike, have you? Like a traditional style roguelike. Well, didn't we play that really, really, really ancient game? That was like... Dose level ancient? Oh, you mean. Uh, NetHack. <laughs> yeah. And that's DOS, not Dose. DOS. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Was that roguelike in any way? That was actually. So, I guess if you've played that one, you have played something closer to the original rogue style of gameplay. So, essentially, permadeath, uh, you descend the dungeon. Whoa. <laughs> this is the part where we run. I guess I'm gonna have to kill these things. So unfortunately, these Do things you only have 13 are health left. Yes, we're almost dead. Uh, so realistically, I'll show I'll show you why these are possible. But you have to move fast because the blight carriers really start coming after you after a little while. Unfortunately, we're going to have to. There's more in this chest. How much crap is in here? There we go. So we get a bonus for later. Pet clone vat, so next time we can bring a pet with us, next time we go down. Ten strength, wits. I'm gonna wear this. Oh, that looks better anyway. What's this? Four sword. Well, it doesn't matter! We have to fight this thing. Okay, we managed to kill it. Eighteen strength, twelve fate. 12, yeah, so that's better. And there's the teleporter, which is actually really good. I'm just going to see if I can get over this thing. I don't have enough money! Shit! Use teleporter! I mean, realistically, we're probably going to die here. We have no we have no health and very little equipment. And apparently we look we like going to? Robocop. So, like all roguelikes, every time you get to the end of the level, you teleport on to the next one. <laughs> we're going to die horribly here. There we go, we're dead. So, also like most roguelikes, you you die terribly. There's there's no means to heal. Uh, sometimes there's, there is. There's... Sometimes. Not in this case, though. So... Was there any way you could have played that differently to survive? Uh, if I had moved faster and not gone for the secret area past the key card, we probably would have done better because the purple creatures wouldn't have followed us. Essentially, if you take too long, the purple creatures start coming at you in mass. It's the first time I've ever actually seen them and or fought them. And realistically, you can fight them. You just really don't want to. So, here's the other section of the game. Apart Is that from just cloning chamber. Yes. So each and every time you go down to the planet's surface, you are a successive clone of this guy. Now, okay. First off, what you can do: see these two resources in the top right, scrap mm -hmm. and crystals. You can spend them on upgrades for your character. So a permanent damage boost, a permanent dodge boost, or a permanent health boost. So we're gonna put it into strength because if we can just one shot everything, it's good. So, in a way, this is very similar to Rogue Legacy, which does the exact same thing. Now, if you notice, we also have crystals 
And let's go talk to this guy first. So. <laughs> grenades. Yep. DNA extractors. Ooh. To your clone bats. Is this so you can have pets? I'm buying this. We're going to test this out. I've never used this before, so uh, this part's new. So you can talk to this thing, and it's kind of a randomly generated vending machine. Then you can talk to this thing, and it's a randomly generated equi equipment generator. So you click this, it summons a piece of equipment, and then you can go over here and pick out your equipment for the next run. So in this case, we're going to go with a bandana and hack axe. I'm not going to bring the better stuff. That can wait for later. And I can bring, like, juice and stuff, but... So when you die, oh. you lose all the equipment that you purchased? Yes. I see. Uh, it's a roguelike. You lose your equipment on the... On the surface. So, here hey, we go. Hey, you can actually choose your appearance? Yes. So, you can you can choose one of six portraits. There might... I, I think currently it's five. There might be six. There might be more later. But essentially, it just changes your face. So I went with the Dashing Gentleman. <laughs> there are multiple classes. So there's the Renegade, which is basic? I don't know. I don't really know what the difference is, but Assassin can sneak. And I'd actually have to look into that. And apparently the Assassin is female only. I guess it kind of works. Mm -hmm. and then you get, like, a robot thing, an alien man, and Ooh, alien man. more later. So, you can also bring a pet with. And currently, the only pet we can bring with us it is, is friendly the crab. Friendly Crablet. Which I unlocked earlier by making friends with it. And I think most creatures actually are listed here, or at least a number. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be bringing this gun with us. And that's pretty much it for things you can do on the ship. There are probably going to be more things added. But can't do the daily challenge anymore because I already, I already lost it, essentially. But goal is to get as far as you can to get a better reward. So we got 15 crystal for doing it. And if we'd gotten farther, we would have gotten silver or gold. I think you get you only get gold for actually completing it. And it's a once a day thing, I think. But there are also multiple different challenges that you can do. So there's basic explorer mode, which is as default as you can get. There's the data log, which harder, much harder. Then there's very hard. And then there's crazy hard. Mm -hmm. And most of these you don't want to attempt until you have much better gear way later in the game. So you really want to just keep doing explorer mode over and over and over and over again. How's the air out there? Probably full of nasty oxygen stuff. Ugh, no thank you. What does he breathe? Uh, I don't know. Methane? Nitrogen? Something? <laughs> but it's kind of repetitive gameplay. It's not the kind of thing you'd probably be interested in for long lengths of time. I don't know, the upgrading would be interesting. Yeah, it's fun enough, but the gameplay Whatever happened is not going to your change. I, I didn't bring it with. It's too expensive. Ah, uh, I see. So, it's kind of one of those where you want to weigh if it's worth, you know, exploring the environment to get all the things, or immediately beelining for the teleporter so you can get to the better stuff faster. Also, you don't have to worry about the purple creatures coming after you. So in this case, we get a fair amount of loot. There's a locked door we can get past because I got that key card from earlier. And sometimes, mm -hmm. there, sometimes there's a good thing back here, sometimes there's nothing at all. Yep, nothing, nothing. at all. <laughs> Now, artistically, this game is pretty fantastic. I don't like the walk animation that much. It's a little simplistic for me. Or Yeah, the creatures in the environment itself are really nice. The humans... Mm. I mean, they're painted well. I'm just a little disinterested in them, if that makes sense. Now, I'm going to use the teleporter and get down because the black stuff is starting to come. Now, you get a reward for how far you explore, but you also get a reward after you go to level 3. Every time further, you get 3 more crystals. I like that grass. Yeah. No, uh, part of the reason why I even discovered this game originally because I, I think I was on Indie DB. Uh, I don't know what these do. Experiment! Try it out! Experimentation! Apparently we just made it... Uh, Stronger? There we go. <laughs> we almost killed ourselves. Yeah. Bones? Now I'm gonna just yeah. wait for this thing to come closer. It's taking off a lot of your health. Yeah, Sheesh. it really is. Distance 2 starts to get really rough. Uh, this game, especially because it's not like Tower of Guns, where you're expected to do it in one run, it's it's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, my main priority here is picking up as many, like, scrap. Apparently that cost me scrap for some mysterious reason. Um, that's odd. Yeah. 
I mean, I I could have just misseen uh -oh. it. Another one of those hard-hitting critters. I'm gonna drink behind this. you. I'm gonna go up this way. Hey, there we go. That's what we want. Because even if even if we die, we get to keep the crystals that we find, which is mainly my main. It, it's my main goal here, because I'd like to be able to permanently upgrade my stats. I did get the key here. Not sure how well this is gonna turn out for me. Mm. I'm gonna wait one. I guess come forward. Oh, there's a vending machine. Uh, Experiment. Not. What about the pink thing? Gonna have to use it. Please die. Nope, never mind. Really should have used that earlier. Well, that cost me a fair amount of money. And there we go. And apparently you can tweet it every time you get further. Now, this game is currently just on PC. I think it might be coming out on Mac eventually, but I know for a fact it's also coming out on mobile. That's why there's like a whole lot of social media and tap stuff, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to, especially if you can link your accounts together. Now, we're pretty cash shy, so I really can't get much. I'm just going to take, like, these things. Hopefully we can get ourselves some more crystal. Also, apparently, like, maybe if you just die on this one? I'm not entirely sure what the reward is for doing this. Well, let's try data log. We've never tried data log before, and I'd very much like to see how it turns out. Hey, clone 001. See the little DNA strand in the lower corner? That's your data log. Galactic Union is paying us to fill the data log, and we're reading the unique energy signature deep in this region, where a creature is probably down there. Get moving. So, my bet is we're going to die horribly. I'm not entirely sure how the reward system works, if it's just for trying, or you only get the 40 crystal for succeeding. I think it's the latter, which is kind of unfortunate, but, uh, oh, it's he life. Has your green junk, because you got him good that time. Yeah. Uh, I think the weapon we were using was crap, which is part of the reason why we died. Uh-oh, the purples are already after you. Yep. Oh, well, this is bad, I guess. Fight it out. Whoa, oh. mega creature. Uh, use. Shit, I you healed just, it! You healed it? Run away! Well, now you know what they do. Yep. Well, unfortunately, it's always going to be mysterious and unidentified. Luckily... Is it just following you? Oh, shit. We just trapped ourselves. Uh... Goodbye, cruel world! Wait, no. Ah, shoot. I was gonna do something else. Oh, well. I'm not entirely sure why the clone number doesn't increment. I hope I hope they actually get that feature working in the main game. Yeah, because you should... I'm pretty sure there are some people that would get into the hundreds of clones. Probably. Okay, this one's good. Let's just bring this one away. Yeah, they start you in the game without, like, any equipment whatsoever, so you pretty much die right off the bat. Glasses. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna spend a little bit more. Unfortunately... You think it'd be very expensive to clone someone over and over and over again, like, wouldn't this resource that they're gathering be quite not worth as much? Well, they're not gathering a resource. The resources I'm getting are just for upgrades. This doesn't look friendly. I'll be <laughs> cheering you on from the ship. Go, clone number one. You can do it. We spawn directly next to, apparently, the friendly. Never mind! I got half your health already. Less social than the average crablet, po possibly because their poison spit is less charming. Resistant to chemical damage. Let's get out of the poison spit. I think we're already poisoned. Well, this is not boding well for us already. You're sickly. Let's see if I can... Nope! I was hoping I could take out the crystal before we died. This happens. Uh, until we actually get, like, enough... At least we did get a fair amount of scrap metal for that somehow. Uh, but... Almost instantaneous death does actually happen, especially on turn-based roguelikes. Yep. And the little green guy will always have a message for you every time it goes down. To, you go down to the planet. Most of the time, it will won't be anything particularly interesting. What are those spots that decay? That's where the purple creatures come out of. Yeah. Hey, it's the poison crablet again. Note to self: these guys are awful. Oh shoot! I forgot to bring a weapon with. <laughs> You didn't bring anything! I forgot. At least we're getting a lot of scrap metal from this. But we're about to die from poison already. Wait. Quick grab this. Go for the teleporter. Yes! Yeah, we got we got 30 scrap from it, so I mean at the very least you can kind of just like run and gun and hope for the best. I'm gonna have to punch this thing out. Well, there we go. Punches you out. 
Note to self, bring weapons with. Uh, unfortunately, it's a lot harder to get crystal, which is kind of what you need if you want to get, like, basic equipment. I guess I can just get the bronze level stuff over and over. Which isn't actually half bad. I wish there was a way to upgrade this so it actually gave me solid stuff. And here we go. So this is what happens when you finish a research level. You get a new type of crate, which in this case, a Warhammer. But, uh... Earlier, we, we got this guy over here as a reward for that. And apparently there's also some kind of vending machine somewhere that I don't know where that is. Oh, it was this thing. This was another research reward. And pretty much you just keep going down over and over and over again. And that's pretty much how the game works. It's a... It's very close to a roguelike, much more than, you know, Tower of Guns, Fancy Skulls, any of those. But still, very very true to its roots, and I like that. The music is kind of bland. Actually, no, it's not bland. It's actually really good. Well, what am I it, talking about? It's good, but we can't really hear it now. Yeah, not on the ship. There you go. But, like, what, once we get in here, it's nice and not environmental, but, like, originally when I was uh, recording the... Or not recording. When I was... Ah! I'm filled, uh, I'm immune to your poison damage. Because you have the gas mask. Yes! That's really nice. Yep, I kind of wish you could plan it out, like, if you knew what environment, environment you'd be in. you would land in first. So you'd know it's like, oh, it's going to be the poison creatures. Do you I should experience by killing these, or just... These are items? the experience. There's no levels. The levels are passive upgrades. That's it. And, you know, that's... Just gotten via money. Unfortunately, you can't identify the oh, hey. liquid without doing it. Hello. Toxic waste at your enemies or your friends. Well, that'll be useful. Potentially. Let's see if we find something scary. Probably not. Heavy. Yeah, so artistic... Wait, whoa, that looks big, though. Oh, it's a nest. Do you destroy the crabs from their source? Do you destroy the nest next to you? Yep. So, oh, what's this guy? I want to get over to him, but first we're going to use this on this thing. Eat poison thing. There we go, it's dead. Oh! Whoa. A mother! Shit. Uh. It's just going to attack you. Who's this guy? Please. Uh. Lifetime warranty? Cheer him on! Stat check. Success. What happened? Cheer the alien and smashes the gizmo to dust. Alien seems flattered. You found a mutant, bashing an electronic gizmo to bits. And, and then we died. <laughs> you didn't even... Your health isn't even gone. No, that's this thing's health. Oh. This thing's scary. Sorry. It's so cool. did the mutant kill you? No, by cheering the mutant on, we died. That's how it works. Oh. But... Uh, it makes sense. I do kind of wish the passive upgrades didn't get so much more expensive as they went along, but... yeah. Mm, you learn something every day, but I suppose with these guys, it's you learn something. And then you die terribly. I like this game a lot. I'm definitely planning on doing more of these runs. Probably without you, because you're not much of a daily run type of person. But, uh... No, I, I go for story. Uh, unless some sort of story surfaces. Yeah. It'll, it'll probably be a solo project. So, other things I haven't shown off yet. Uh, this thing up here, the number is your level. Uh, you know, top left underneath that health bar. Bottom left you have the DNA thing which shows you all of the different biomes you've been to or not been to. So we've only found 33% of all locations, 25% of enemies, 1% of events, 4% of companions, 16% weapons, 12, so on and so forth. And realistically this is only in beta right now. So this is me playing the beta. So I'm probably going to have multiple other episodes outlining what like new things have come out as it comes out. Hopefully on later levels. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm probably going to do a heck of a lot of grinding just to make uh, it viable for me to get up there. At least it's very easy to get scrap metal, and I'm sure someday I'll have like a really good run with really good items, and we'll get up to level 6, much like uh, Rogue Legacy, and you know, then I'll be super wealthy. Hey, hey, take a look at the scientist dude. Okay. Well, like, don't go down to him, but just take a good look. Now, go back up to the character selection thing. Yes. Oh, hey, you can have robot. Nope. Oh, no? Why is it... It's a bug. You see... That looks like it could be armored version of said guy. Yeah. So at research level four, I unlock this one. And then this is an alien. Notice it has a tail. Yes, but it has the two pronged feet, the same curl. Like, could it just be him wearing armor? Oh. 
Yes. It very well could be, actually. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious, and I'm hoping that's true. <laughs> or it could be a cooler alien, one way or another. But anyway, I, yeah, I think that's it. So this has been the WonderBots trying out Shattered Planet. Really enjoying it. I'm going to uh, look forward to actually conquering this game instead of it constantly crushing me. Hey, you can see the planet down there in the bottom left. Yeah, I still don't understand how anything could survive on a Shattered Planet considering that its electromagnetic field would probably be decimated and everything would be burned into a irradiated, uh, you know, crust. Because it's a video game. That's why. Mm. I don't know. I can't fault it that much. That's an interesting hammer. Wow, electric field. I think I'll hold on to that one. I use this one. And what do does wits grant you versus wits strength? Wits is dodge. Strength is damage. Mm. Yep. So your chance of dodging a hit, because there's no direct armor. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm looking forward to more runs. Oh, apparently you can break these things. I've never done that before. And it kills you! Apparently. Whoops. So hoping I'd live longer. Anyway, so. <laughs> thanks for watching this Indie Impressions video of Shattered Planet. Don't attack vending machines. This this pertains to real life, too. Yeah, drop kicking them and then they crush you. <laughs> Flat. Anyway, so we'll see you guys on the next Indie Impressions video or Let's Play. Or uh, specifically Let's Play of this game because I'm going to be doing many more of these episodes. So, see you guys then. And as always, thanks for watching.